What's going on YouTube and welcome, welcome, welcome back. Yes, back, what, back, where? Here, of course, where else would you be finally Finally, what is going on YouTube? My name is Mikey FB, but you can call me Mikey B, Mikey Mike, whatever rolls off the tongue best, just make sure you say it excited. And that is why we always put an exclamation point at the end of our name. And lately for the past couple days, maybe a couple weeks, maybe a couple months, you've probably been putting a question mark at the end of my name instead of an exclamation point because I have been gone. I have been disappeared, vanished from this world. I had to soft reset, turned into a hard reset, and I have been gone. So the very first thing that I wanna say is I am sorry that I have not been answering any comments. I haven't been answering any messages you sent me on tweets. I haven't uploaded it forever. I am really, 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 really sorry that I haven't um, been been uploading at all. Um, and I will explain everything and all the stuff that has been going on in my life and um, kind of where I'm at right now, which um, you'll, you'll find out about in just a moment. But what's going on, everybody? Uh, like I mentioned, my name is Mikey FB, but you can call me Mikey. Um, everybody does. And uh, for those of you who do not know me or those of you who have forgotten who I am because it's been so long. Um, I'm very loud. I'm energetic. I like to have a lot of fun. Uh, this channel um, was primarily for Pokemon and I plan on playing a lot of Pokemon now. Um, and um, a lot of other Nintendo games. I just love Nintendo. It's a lot of fun. Um, so what's going on guys? How has everyone been? Um, a couple days ago I, on, on Twitter I just tweeted out hello and like like 20 people were like, oh, you're not dead. And it was so funny, but it was so it was so much fun, and I've missed you guys so much. So let me let me get to explaining everything. The first thing I want to say is I'm sorry. Um, you guys were always very supportive of me and very consistent, and I kind of just cold turkey up and left. I had to, you know, like I said, I had to unplug the console from the wall because um, there's just a lot going on. Um, and I'm gonna start off by prefacing a video that I made at the beginning of the year. Um, and that video was uh, kind of like a New Year's, New Year's video and kind of just my philosophy going into the new year. And one of the things that I said was, it was a hashtag, and it was hashtag BTBY. Now for those of you who actually uh, were watching a lot of my videos and listening to me yammer on and on and on and on and on and on and and on and on, um, you you may remember that that meant uh, be the best you, B-T-B-Y, be the best you. And that was just kind of saying, this year, do what you have to do to be the best you that you can be. And um, unfortunately um, for you and me and us together, that meant that I had to take a little hiatus from YouTube. Um, there was a lot going on in my life at that time, and I know I talked about it a lot on, on some of the videos. Uh, I was under a lot of stress because I was applying for a lot of jobs. I graduated back in December, and I was trying to find a job and move on from where I was to continue moving forward with my life, and it was very stressful. I had to apply to hundreds of places because the main thing was I was trying to move out of state. So it, I, I don't know how much that played a role into it and how much they just they might have watched my videos and realized that I'm not a quality employee no I'm just kidding I'm a great employee but um it was it was it was hard it was stressful I had had a lot of interviews I had a lot of stuff going on I had a lot of contacts that I was talking to and um I got a little note. See, nothing's changed. I still got a little janky notepad with scribbles on it to make sure that I stay on topic even though I won't um eventually eventually uh, I, I got in contact with somebody and um I, uh, I was interviewing and I was offered a position and it was in South Carolina. I'm in Charleston, South Carolina now. So, um, great, different surrounding, right? You see the little door back here? This is not a uh, permanent, this is not a permanent setting here, okay? It's going to change at some point. Uh, I just wanted to get this video up because I wanted to get started again the past couple, like the past month or so. I've really been wanting to do it again, but I didn't want to make the commitment, but I'm going to make the commitment because uh, I've, it's just so much fun to be talking to you guys. But, um, so I got offered a job and in two weeks I had to find a place to live and I had to move down here, pack everything up and move down here. Also, I had to get like 18 shots because of where I'm working. Um, I'll, I'll talk to you guys about that in a little bit, but I'd get like medical records, I had to get shots, I had to get drug tested, I had to get background checked, um, and it was very, 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 very busy. Um, so that was, that combined with the stress and all of this, it, it, 
the thoughts that were going into all the the interview process the interview interviewing sucks okay it, it there's no way around it it sucks and that combined with you know uh going through even in middle school and high school or, or grade school whatever you guys call it from wherever you're at um it's always kind of been like yeah go to college get a degree you're gonna be all set and really that's not how it works it's it's not some golden ticket to willy wonka's chocolate factory um it, it, it's it's still a lot of work it, it's definitely opened a lot of doors so so don't let that discourage you in any matter but it's just um there's still a lot more to it besides uh just having that that general degree um for those of you who didn't know I, I graduated with my bachelor's degree and i'm gonna go out to get my master's eventually uh in the works stay tuned um coming to a mikey near you uh but anyways um you know, I had that that mindset going into like, okay, this is, you know, I, I did this, I earned this, now it's time to move on. And that just wasn't how it was working out. Um, and it got to the point where I was so busy because I was applying to, you know, filling out applications. Um, if you guys have ever filled out applications online, it takes a long time. You have to do all of your personal demographic information, all your work history, your references, uh, updating your resume and your cover letter, and all this stuff. and. Um, probably stuff you guys don't really care about, but it's it was just a lot. And that combined with all of the um, the time that I was putting into YouTube, and it really was a lot, trying to put up daily uploads. If you are watching somebody and following somebody who puts up a video every single day, go say thank you because it is a lot of work. Um, and uh, it, it is fun, but it's also staying consistent is work. Um, so uh, that combined with that, it just got to the point where I couldn't do it anymore. Um, it was it was it was really stressing me out. It was getting to the point where it was it was miserable trying to do it. I couldn't make myself do. Um, it, we're gonna talk about kind of what we're gonna start uploading again because we're gonna start uploading again. But um, I actually have some videos, raw footage of uh, Solar Light that I didn't edit and I didn't put up because I could not make myself edit it. It, it was that point where I was that, uh, I, I was not having fun. I was dreading looking at that stuff. Um, I didn't even have fun recording it. And I think that shows, so we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, but it, it's funny, I was actually, I heard a story um, from somebody I was listening to uh, and he was talking about a, um, he was talking about a woman that he knew um, and kind of how she got to the point where she was going to um, divorce her husband. And, you know, it, it had been going back and forth for a little while and then she finally decided to do it. And um, he said, well, what, what made you really get to that point? And she said, one day I got home and I could not walk in the door. I got to the door, I unlocked it, I could not go through the doorway. I could open the door, I could look in there, I couldn't go through there. I had to crawl into my own house because my legs would not carry me there because my brain didn't want to be in that in in this that environment. And I'm not saying it got to that point, but it was it was to the point where it wasn't something that I was having fun with and I've always said I do this for fun. So um I had to take a break. I knew I would come back to it eventually. Um and now is that time. But um, I, I digress. See, I, I have a piece of paper and I can't even stick to it. What do I got next? Let me. Okay, so um, let's see. So since let's let's talk about a little bit of a timeline since I stopped uploading. So it was about three months ago. So um, I think it was end of March and mid April, beginning of April, I was offered a position. So that was um, beginning of April, and in two weeks, two weeks and two days, I think it was. I had to find a um, house that fit our needs because we have a lot of stuff. My uh, uh, my wife and I have a lot of stuff together. So we had to find a place big enough that also took dogs that was available immediately. It took me about three days to do that and I called probably a dozen places. Got it though. Um, I had to get all those those medical records and, I had, and my off my doctor's office was closed because of the, the whatever holiday was, something was going on, I don't remember. But I had to do that. Um, and then, so we get everything packed. I, I spent like endless hours. We spent endless hours packing and um, had to figure out a way how we were gonna get down to South Carolina. 
and that was that was difficult. So my my friend, uh, luckily, I have great friends, best friends you could ever ask for. Um, was like, yeah, I'll go down, and um, he, all he wanted was um, just a, a very small token of appreciation. Um, so you know, he we, we went down there. We drove there pretty much through the night, kind of, or through the day, because it took about. 15 hours total I'd say because driving a U-Haul it's uh it's pretty hard to um you know you can only go a certain amount of miles and you're going through the mountains and stuff so it was long traveled and uh, I somebody okay so somebody timestamp when I actually start talking about the channel this is just kind of a general update I'll try to put a little synopsis in the in the description but um anyways we made it down there we moved some stuff in so my first day of work this is just going to be the the stuff that has been going on so my first day of work um I had to go to, it's called employee health. Now, I didn't even tell you. Okay, so I am a uh, clinical research program coordinator at a major hospital in South Carolina now. So it's it's awesome. It's so much fun. I, I run clinical trials for um, uh, early detection of lung cancer, essentially. Um, so we, we do a lot of trials with, um, with patients who have lung issues. And it's really cool to be able to go and, and connect with the patients and um, to kind of see how the everything's collaborated. Um, but working at a hospital, you have to have all of your, your vaccinations, everything. And luckily I was able to go into, it's an employee health center, um, the first day of work and um, get all the immunizations and everything. So I get there, they open at 7.30. I got there at 7.20. I was the first person in the door. I was there when they unlocked the door. I spent the next three and a half hours driving around trying to find a parking place because apparently the stars and moon literally aligned to where it was high tide and it was storming like crazy so the entire city because it, Charleston is is at sea level at sea level that way uh, yeah, right there at sea level so the water doesn't have anywhere to go when it's high tide so all the parking lots were flooded I was driving around. I got stuck on a bridge for like a half an hour. I had no idea where I was going. I didn't have my phone, ch my, my car phone charge because I left it back in Michigan. Um, so my phone was dying with my GPS on because I had no idea where I was going. This is the first time I've ever been in the city. Um, so after three and a half hours of searching, I'm like, forget it. I'm going to go home. And normally I would have done this earlier. But I had to go to an orientation, which they only do once every two weeks. So if I didn't do it then, I had to wait how do I do this? Two weeks before I started my um, my first day and I didn't want to be sitting around um, for two weeks. So I started driving home and I was like, you know, I was so discouraged because I, I was so frustrated driving around in this heavy rain. I, I, like, okay, when I say flooded, it was up to the windows of my car. It was, it was like engulfing my car. It was ridiculous. I don't know how I didn't get flooded out. So I'm driving home and I find this little residential place where I can park on the street. So I, I pull over there and I was just sitting there and I was like, oh my gosh, rain was coming down. I, I get out of my car and I look down the way and it's just raining on me and I'm just getting soaked and wet. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I take off my socks and shoes. I roll up my pants. I'm in a suit and, and, and suit tie, nice pants and everything like that. Take it all off, roll up my sleeves. And I walk barefoot for two miles through knee high water to get to work. It took forever. Now, some people had like SUVs and trucks and stuff like that, and they'd pull over and uh, they'd take pictures of me and then drive off. They wouldn't offer me a ride, but they'd, they'd love to take pictures of some guy who's dressed nice walk, wading through a river of water. So that ticked me off. Um, I got there after forever and it was, it made it through the first day. So then the next, uh, next week we flew back to Michigan and uh, had to move the rest of our stuff down. So I'm driving, you know, uh, um, the uh, SUV that we had with uh, pulling a U-Haul on the back and the car breaks down in the middle of the mountains. <laughs> so I, I, luckily I was on the downhill of the mountains. So I just kind of coasted to the next exit. I had to run four miles to the nearest U-Haul station to get another U-Haul to pull the U-Haul that I was already hauling you. Um, so I did that. I got it back there and, um, made it. I made it. That was that. Uh, then I, I, w I was in a friend's wedding in Texas and then I was in a friend's, uh, my sister-in-law's wedding, uh, back in Michigan. So just been really busy and now things are starting to settle down. So now I'm back. So now that you have gotten that, that little story, uh, out of your way, I have a question for you guys. Should we finish solar light or nah? So, um, what I was kind of thinking is, 
Um, we're already, you know, halfway through it, and eventually we're gonna finish it. But um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is actually the the shirt I wore on my first first video that I was on YouTube, and I did it on purpose, just kind of out of a uh, um, corny symbolism. But um, I was thinking that maybe going back to a, a, a randomizer nuzlocke of a main series game just to kind of get things cracking get it started something new something fresh and then going back to solar light um but i know solar light is is right in the middle so i didn't know if you guys wanted me to finish that um i was leaning towards the randomizer nuzlocke but if the majority of you guys want me to finish solar light before i do something new let me know because like i've said from the very 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 beginning of the channel this channel is about us so um whatever you guys want to see um if you guys even still want to watch me because i've been gone for so long but um let's see so what i was going to say about getting started was um i'm gonna start off slow because i i want to i want to i want to kind of work my way back into it and make sure that i i get all the kinks out and i can uh put out quality before i put out quantity and work up to quantity question mark maybe i'm not sure yet um but i do want to get at least get back into it and get my little feet wet in the water dry them off so I don't get sick. I'm not doing that again. Um, maybe more games and uh, what I was thinking is maybe try to be less, uh, I know I don't do a lot with graphics, but doing less with them if that makes sense. Um, I don't know, just to kind of, kind of, you know, work the quantity back in and come on, I don't know. Let me know what you guys want. I don't really know. I've been rambling for already 15 minutes. Oh, that's crazy. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. What else do we got? Um, so... What do we got here? What does this say? I can't even read my own writings. Okay, so anyways, that's just about all that I wanted to get out in this little video. Um, but the main thing is I wanted to say I'm very, very sorry that um, I had to up and leave. But I just, I couldn't do it. I needed I needed to just kind of cut ties for a little bit and uh, relax and get settled into my, my new life here in South Carolina. South Carolina. So, um... Let me know, um, if nothing else, let me know if you guys want to see a uh, kind of a randomizer nuzlocke of a Pokemon main series game, if you want to see Solar Light, or um, what you guys want, and what you guys want from me in the long haul. Um, so if you guys are pissed at me, oh, I said a bad word. Um, if you guys are mad at me, go ahead and uh, leave a comment, let me know, um, get it out of the way, and then drop another comment and say what's up if you if you missed my if you missed what I was doing or if you missed what I was putting out um, because I really missed you guys and I really hope that you guys will all come back in uh, swarms like you were uh, with my our initial videos so um, I think that's all that I wanted to get out um, I missed you guys I'm happy to be here and I can't wait to get something started with you guys but now it's all said and done I'm gonna go ahead and peace out. And I'll see you guys um, shortly. Oh, I didn't talk about a start date, did I? But I already ended the video. Let me know. I'll let you guys know. See ya.